Hello fellow hunters, welcome back to my channel. I have one more tip to give you. I know I did a recent video of seven advices and a couple of very helpful tips to help you along the bloodborne journey and defeating certain bosses and getting a few things that you're gonna need throughout the game. Did I really say that? No, nah, I didn't. All right, this is not mentioned enough. I haven't really seen a lot of people mention it. I've only seen the rare few that are non-skilled to veteran professional bloodborne hunters. Don't lock onto your boss. Try to learn to fight without locking onto your boss. Only lock on when you do a charge attack or when you're using a pistol for parrying or arcane. But most of the time, try to fight these bosses and other types of foes without locking on as much. I mean, once I learned this, the fights became a lot more easier, especially with Dark Beast Parl. I think that's how you pronounce it. His weak points is his legs. And have you noticed when you lock on, it really just goes on his chest or his head area. And that's where you don't want to hit. As you can see, my axe always constantly hits in the area where I'm locked onto and not where it needs to go, which is his legs. I unlock it, I hit his legs, and watch him start to tumble over and be all flimsy and shit because he's a very klutzy boss, okay? And once in a while when you lock on, you're probably able to get his chest area, which is somewhat of a weak point. But what knocks him over is his legs. It's unfortunate that I learned this later in the game after progressing so much into everything and upgrading and trying to figure out how to defeat these bosses. And then it stumbles upon me and hits me and smacks me in the face and tells me to wake up. I'm like, try this instead. And then my entire world shook and I was able to really become a badass veter veteran hunter in Bloodborne. It's like, I'm just really, my arrogance is flying today. I am tired. I think the madness has set in quite a bit again. It's too bad that I learned this trick like as I was fighting the Orphan of Goss. He goes through two phases. First one is pretty straightforward. You can easily dodge his attacks. He, his fight is more precise. However, in his second phase, his little shrimp placenta thingy, it is inaccurate. And he's bouncing around, throwing a tantrum everywhere. And you're able to do a lot more damage on him if you're unlocked. And as you can see, I get him stuck in the door. That is actually my very special tip for this. If you can, stay by the arena door through his second phase because his electrical attacks cannot get you there. And he will fly into the door and get stuck and you will get so many hits in. It's unbelievable. I, re I really ramped it up and I let my stamina go down, but I didn't care. It was an epic ending and it was perfect and I'm glad I played the Hunters DLC because it taught me a lot of humility because that's what Bloodborne is about. It's about teaching you humility and not to be greedy but I'm greedy as fuck. I still haven't learned to not be greedy but I hope you guys get something from this because if you unlock on your enemies. Don't lock on to them often unless you need to, but try fighting like that for a while. Believe me, it will shift your world completely and the game experience will be a lot better. But either way, thank you for watching.